What's up guys? I promised you a vlog and here it is. I'm in my backyard right now. Guess who's with me? Check it out. Larry. Hey boy. He's enjoying the grass. Hey boy. Good boy. He loves the backyard ever since we moved here. Now he's free to just run back and forth and he runs fast like a little deer. He jumps up in the air. He hops as he runs. He likes to play with the birds. The other day he caught a bird by its wing. I thought, well, I think he injured the bird, but the bird eventually flew away. So I'm glad, you know, he was okay. But yeah, this is our home. I'm in our covered patio right now. This is the backyard right here. I apologize for this noisy AC. I hope it's not interfering with you being able to hear me. But this is my yard, there's my shed. And those two trees right there are our lemon trees. And it's gonna produce, or they're gonna produce a lot of lemons this time around. They're actually called valley lemons. Valley lemons are a cross between a lemon and an orange. They're mainly sour, but just a little bit of sweetness. They're really good. We're gonna experiment and try to make some Valley lemonade. So we'll see how it comes out. And over here, my pile of pallets. Tanya hates for me to have these pallets here, but I found them on the side of the road. So I picked them up. I wanna maybe build something, make a woodworking project one of these days. And these right here, were my mother's plants. After she passed away, my dad gave us most of her plants and Tanya's been doing a really great job of taking care of them. And all these colorful pots, this one, that one, and some over there, I bought in Mexico for Tanya. She's also trying to multiply these plants, making more plants out of out of the existing ones. We've been enjoying gardening recently. We never had too many plants before when we lived at our apartment. And we're just so happy to be here, especially for Larry. Larry used to have to be on a leash all the time. It was a, a requirement at the apartment. So uh, we're, we're just happy that he's happy and check it out he's sitting over there in the grass he's enjoying the grass he loves to just sit around and look around he loves to chase the birds what you doing boy there's also a lot of wildlife here i mean there's some a lot of cats around Possums, which I don't really like because they carry fleas and ticks and they come on our yard and Larry has has chased some of them sometimes and they play dead and Larry's just there barking at them but then I have to go pick up Larry get him away so that the possum can can run away there's uh, all types of birds you can probably hear some of the birds right now there's squirrels and some other I don't know if they're not gophers, but like, not chipmunks either. I don't know. Some some animals similar to squirrels. They have burrows down in the ground. There's a lot of those. And we have also a middle school right in our backyard right here. That's the school right there. There's the lunch and recess area. There's a pavilion there where they have PE and play sports and stuff like that and then there's grassy field back over there and some bleachers it's nice being in a home now and you'll get to see more of our home as we start vlogging more but i'm so happy to be putting out this vlog for you guys i don't have a very interesting life but i'll try to make it as uh, interesting as i can <laughs> yesterday i went to harbor freight and I love Harbor Freight. Well, Tanya says I love any tool store. Home Depot, Lowe's, Harbor Freight. But I especially love Harbor Freight. I don't know why. It's just like a toy store for me. When I go in there, I guess it's the low prices and just the cool things you can get for really good prices. 
I usually don't buy power tools from there. They do have some brands that are good, but yeah, I just stay away from the power tools there. I try to go with a little better quality uh, tools. I usually stay away from anything that requires electricity. I buy like consumables and other manual tools and other supplies like that. But like I said, I went to Harbor Freight yesterday and I'm gonna show you a clip of that because I took you along with me. So check this out. Hey guys, we're in the car. We're on our way to Harbor Freight. Hey, let me know in the comments how many of y'all like going to Harbor Freight or whether you have a Harbor Freight close by to where you live. Let me know. We imagine those in the UK probably don't have a Harbor Freight. Yeah, you'll get to see. But you'll get to see one. Yeah, you'll get to see one in a few minutes. But we're on our way over there. Just wanted to jump in and let you know. We'll catch up with you in just a little bit once we get to Harbor Freight. Hey guys, we're at Harbor Freight. Check it out. Right there. Let's see what we find. There's a few deals that I saw advertised. I got an email from them for member deals. So I'm going to check and see if I can find some of those items. But I need a cart. Tanya's in the car. She doesn't really have the energy to get off with me right now, but she's in there. She's in the car with Larry. So let's see, there's so many. I love this place. This is like a toy store for me. Got all kinds of stuff. I know, oh, this is one of the deals. Three super glues for 87 cents. Gotta take that. They got a lot of clamps. These are some really good clamps from Harbor Freight. I've seen some reviews. They've even outperformed some of the uh, quality brand clamps. These are called parallel clamps. These Bremen brand, good price, good clamps. Let's see, what is it that I needed? Well, I don't really need any of the items that I'm looking for, <laughs> but I might need them in the future, but I want to get them while they're a good price. I don't trust any of the measuring or marking tools, that's for sure. They're usually not square, so I stay away from any measuring tools from Harbor Freight. I'm sure you can find some good measuring tools, but with my experience, I just haven't had much luck with those measuring tools. So I tend to spend a little more for something that's accurate. The magnets, these are these are pretty good. These are the neodymium magnets. These are pretty strong magnets. You can use them in woodworking. They have a tool bag that's, I don't know, I think it's like $4. That's what I'm looking for. I'm also looking for a magnetized dish. You can put screws and nuts and bolts and stuff so you don't lose, you know, the, the screws and stuff like that. Here they are. It's these right here. This four inch, it's a magnetic bowl. You keep all your screws in one place. You don't lose them. Four inch is $1.29. It's a good deal. Six inch is $1.99. So let's see, that would mean every inch equals about 30 cents. 30 times six, 180. This is the better deal. I mean, this is bigger, but this is a better deal. I'm gonna take this one right here magnetic parts holder so yeah guys I love Harbor Freight I think I've said it several times already <laughs> let's see what else we find oh I want to find that tool bag let's see guys this one right here is a 12 inch tool bag. I think it has like six pockets on the outside, three on each side. It's a pretty good quality bag, canvas for 483. That's a really good deal. So I'm gonna take that. I took screenshots of the stuff that I wanted to get. I'm gonna check that right quick and I'll be right back. All right guys, I looked at my screenshots. 
The other deal that I found is this ammo box. This is about, I don't know, about a, an 11 inch, 10 inch, heavy plastic ammo box for 386. This comes in handy, you know, for tools also or for anything you want to put in there. And it's, um, it should have a seal. Yeah, wait, let me see here. Yeah, it has a seal, so it's also waterproof. I mean, at least water resistant, at least. Maybe even waterproof, but yeah, 386. I thought that was a good deal. And I'm also looking for some zip ties. A 100 pack of the 11 inch zip ties for a dollar 82 and you can't beat that that's almost less than two cents per tie not bad and the last thing are magnetic strips magnetic strips you can they're about 12 inches long you can screw them into your wall and then you can just stick tools on it with the you know the magnet so I gotta see see if I can find those. I hope you're enjoying the vlog, guys. I'm having a great time with you all. Yeah, I buy, there's so many things that I have bought from here. Um, mainly like consumables, even compressor accessories. I, I bought that here. I bought a really cool um, stud finder from here. Normally, I think Amazon sells them for the one I got. I'll try to put a picture in to show you. Pretty pricey on Amazon, but I found one here for about maybe $25 to $30. But it's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to find that magnetic strip. Check this out. This is a good deal. $15.99. I think I got I got one of these hobby knife sets from Timu. I think for under five dollars. Not as many pieces, but it was a great deal for five bucks. I'll show you all soon on our Timu videos. I'll show you what what I ordered, and also Tanya will show you what she ordered. They're right here, guys. Check it out. This is the, these are the magnetic strips, and they're about 15 inches long. They have a big, long magnet. You can just screw this into the wall, and then just stick your tools on it. It's $2.94. I'm gonna get two of these. I'm gonna get in line, guys, so I can pay, and I'll see you all in the car. Well, that was my Harbor Freight trip. I hope you enjoyed it. In a while, I'm gonna take you into the bunker just to give you a quick tour of the bunker, show you where I'll be recording my woodworking videos. I've already started my first video. I haven't finished yet. I've been putting a lot of work and effort into it, so I want it to be a good video since it'll be our first video. It's gonna be an introduction video, really, like introducing you know, me and Tanya. Also, we have some Timu Hall videos that are coming up soon, which you can look forward to. Well, I talked about Timu in our last Randall Nautica video, and I told you that it's a shopping app where the, the prices are like crazy low. And the quality of most of these items is pretty good, especially, it's just hard to believe that you can still get ridiculously low prices for for a lot of items it's like going back in time like 20 years or more as far as the prices are concerned prices are just going up on everything everywhere gas groceries just everything in general and to see such low prices on stuff even lower prices than dollar store items and better quality and we're very satisfied with the products that we've bought and we'll be showing you those products in upcoming videos yeah larry's ready to go inside all right we're going inside this is our 
living room. I hope it's not too dark. Here's Larry's living room bed. It's our living room. This is gonna be Tanya's craft area. This is where I'm gonna build the table for her. This is our kitchen. And let me take you to the bunker. Yeah, I, I got a lot of stuff all over the place here, but it's a work in progress. Guys, this is the bunker. I got all my tools. I got my bandsaw, my shop vac, toolbox. These are our recording lights that we use. They're called soft boxes. My miter saw, I got some lumber up there. My planer, a lot of my tools here. My exercise bench, my weights, compressor. These are the items that I bought at Harbor Freight. I got my drill press, first aid kit, fire extinguisher, my radio. I got my scroll saw down here. A ton of woodworking stuff. And my favorite tool of all is my table saw right here. These are the all of our Timu packages that you're gonna get to see in our upcoming videos. There's stuff, some, some of it is Tanya's stuff. Some of it is mine. I'm gonna show you, mine are mainly like tools, woodworking accessories, uh, not all woodworking uh, related items, but stuff that I can still use, you know, whenever I'm woodworking. We're gonna show the items that we purchased. We're gonna show you how much you would pay like at Amazon or Walmart or anywhere else. And then how much we paid for the item itself at, from Timu. Uh, I'm gonna show the tools that I bought. I'm gonna be putting those tools to use on my woodworking channel videos. But I'll get to show you the items themselves and what they cost as well as Tanya's items. It's not just one item per package. There's probably, maybe this one probably has like 20 items in here. You know, another 15, 10, uh, five, eight, six items. So it's gonna be interesting guys. I basically just wanted to show you a little bit of our home. Tanya's resting right now. Her energy is not very high and her pain is high usually during the day. Her best times of the day are somewhere between five and seven p.m. That's when I get to spend time with her. But for the most part, I try to let her rest as much as she can. I'm excited to be doing these vlogs for you guys. I hope you enjoy them. Like I said, I don't have a very interesting life, but I'll show you whatever I do. I'm planning to go to Mexico in a couple of days and hopefully Tanya's feeling good enough to go with me. Whether she goes with me or not, I'm going to take you along with, with me or us to Mexico just to give you a different scenery and show you some of the atmosphere in Mexico. With that said, I wanna thank you for watching. Y'all take it easy and stay curious.